Hello everybody, happy Friday. This is going to be a short, mercifully short, pop-up live show tonight because I need to get on with some deckling of the Humvee because I've got to build this for Telford and there it is. So I thought the best way of actually getting on with the with the deckling was to do a live show and talk about my uh, my deckling process, so to speak, and and that way I can get some stickers on so and, and we can have a chat as well. So anyway, uh, rolls sleeves up and switches to workbench camera. Um, so that's a good start. The workbench camera isn't working over. Oh, it's because I haven't. Oh, that's because I didn't configure the camera properly. There we go. That's more like it. There we go. So these are my weapons of war this evening. The ubiquitous dish of tepid water to which I've added a couple of drops of washing up liquid or um, dish, dis dish detergent to our American friends. And I've got here my absolutely beautiful cuticle scissors that these only ever get used for deckling. They don't get used for anything else and they sit in their protective um, sleeve on the workbench here. Uh, those are the stickers for the Itillary Humvee. Quite a lot for a vehicle, I would say, uh, but we're doing the, the Golf one. So, And talking of which, there is the Humvee. And yes, you may have noticed it's a bit shiny because we gave it a blast of Mr. Color uh, GX100 gloss, which is absolutely beautiful. It is such a rock solid gloss finish. And there we go. So without further ado, let's put some stickers on this model, shall we? This has got to be finished for Telford. It's part of the display for the hobby company who sell this kit. So, so let's let's get some stickers on, and uh, and I'll keep an eye out on the comments, and we'll have a little chat as we go along. So, like I say, these are if you can get a pair of dedicated kind of nail scissors like these, they are absolutely worth their their weight in gold. Um, it is also hammering down outside here at the moment. I don't know if you can hear that, but that's all it's done for the last few days is rain, rain and rain. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to do all three of these V's in one go. because uh, I can't be bothered to do them one at a time. Oh, come on. Off you go. And I'll pop in and have a look at the comments in a second and say hello. So thank you for joining me this evening. Ah. Now, I have just remembered something else I needed to mention, and that is my other weapons of choice tonight are the ubiquitous Microset and Microsol. I've tried other brands of decal setting solutions down the years. I keep coming back to these. They, they just do a job. They work. So, um, so that's... Tweezers, most important. Deckel. Now I'm just going to sit it on the surface there for a few seconds. And then take it out and put it on the blotting paper there. Um, Travis Thompson says, I started calling them stickers to cover my bases and to annoy everybody rather than just half. Yes, absolutely. Um uh gordon j says i i never use dish soap dish get me teeth in dish soap in my decal water apparently it does something to the uh the surface tension apparently so i've been told um 
And oh, there we go. Carlos Bui, Carlos Ruiz says, Is the dish show dis? Oh, for goodness sake, I haven't even had anything to drink tonight, folks. Is the dish soap to lower the surface tension or to make them slide easily? Mixture of the two, Carlos. Um, mixture of the two. So let's get our micro set whilst these decals are just uh, having a having a think about their futures. And I'm just going to drop a little bit, whoops, a bit more than that. Bit of micro set on that surface there. Oh, look at it, pooling. And we are going to get the, the decal. Yep, we're good to go. Yep, there we go. I haven't done any deckling in a while. No, no, tell a lie. I did. I did some on the um, on the Airfix Austin. So let's just float that into position with the micro set. I think that's pretty much spot on there. I I think so. Oops. Yep, that'll do. That'll do. I'll let it. I'll let it bed down for a few minutes. Then I should go in there and uh, flatten it off with uh, another useful tool for your deckling is cotton buds. So let's pop another decal on. Uh, Tony Surridge says, "Have you seen?" that Gecko have announced a Vietnam 135th scale um, hovercraft. Yes, we've popped a link up on the page. And I get the feeling we might be chatting about that on Sunday's show. So I get I get the I get the funny feeling it may form part of the conversation. Now, I'm going to use my thumb here just to position it. That's better. Let's just have a look to see Yep, that's pretty pretty much perfectly perfectly positioned. So we're going to do the other one. It's exciting, isn't it, folks? What did you do on Friday night? I watched a confused man from Dudley put stickers on his plastic toy, you know. Um, don't worry, I'll be I'll be doing this, I'll be doing this in front of your astonished eyes at Telford in a few weeks' time. We have a action-packed oops action-packed program of uh, live demos over on the hobby company stand so come along say hello buy us a cup of tea if you if you must that'll be lovely thank you I love deckling. It's probably my favourite part of the of the whole modelling process. Um, uh, let's have a look. Right, what have we got here? We've got decals number three. They go decals number three. They go over the rear wheel arches. So I think we'll we'll get them out of the way. But what I'm going to do now is I'm just going to wick the excess moisture off the off the decals that we've already put down whoops that's why you got to be careful to do it that'll do i think 
sometimes it's best just to let the decals naturally evaporate, but we're just taking some of the excess off there a bit, but that'll do, that's fine. That's fine. God, what? What one shall we put on next? Um, we've got quite a lot of, uh, there are a lot of decals to go on this vehicle, which surprises me. Uh, decal number 17. 17A. Oh, there we go. Sling. Yeah, I see it. Uh, I should yeah, actually. I'll try. I'll try and work in a in a logical pattern, reasonably logical pattern. I'm just trying to work out here. We've got decals two and three, which go over the wheel arches. But there are, as you can probably see, there are. Whoops. There are three per per item. There are three on the sheet, but I can only see on the drawings here two, and it says both sides. So, hmm. So what we'll do is we'll get rid of the one we don't need. Put that safely to one side, and we'll come back to that. So again, pop it in the water for a few seconds. That'll be fine. Put it on the kitchen towel to wick off the excess. Let's have a look at the comments. Um, Uh, just seeing Rory says you could use the correct stuff or at least the stuff we use for the V's, which was hairy black maskers. OK, yeah, Rory was out in the Gulf, by the way, everybody. Um, Gordon J says he says, I'm hoping to make Telford and seeking out Jam and the guys <laughs> is on my to do list. Mm, ho hopefully it's uh, hopefully it's to say nice things, Gordon, not to sort us out. Uh, <laughs> Um, and Gordon also says that's some meaty raised detail is trying to decal over. Yeah, but but it will work because we've got Microset, then we've got Microsol, plus whispers it because they're going over a, a kind of like a slightly kind of glossy surface, they will stick like limpets. They really will. Um uh, bum, 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 bum. Just having a look at the comments. Dan Wood says, just off to do some decking myself in a minute. Airfix 70 second scale Tempest. Excellent. Well done, Dan. Brilliant stuff. Right. I think that's probably time enough to um, time enough for us to have a look and see if these decals have started to leave the surface. They have indeed, which is good news. So let us um, I've enjoyed building this um, Humvee. It's it's the first first time I've ever built a Hummer and it was made entirely from straight from the box which to be honest with you these days folks is probably my preferred method of oops a daisy sorry i've just lost the decal building stuff out of the box is probably my preferred method of doing things it means you can just literally switch your brain off and build what is in front of you without worrying about the minutiae of modeling and uh, actually I'm going to do I'm just going to do both these I 
That'll do. And we're going to do the other side. Actually, I know I keep reaching for the uh, tweezers to do this, but cocktail stick does the job just as well just to slide this into position like so. Whoops, bangs head on camera. That'll do. That's that's my stock trade, that <laughs> stock phrase tonight. That'll do. I think that sums up my modeling philosophy to a T. Talking of T, cheers. Mmm. Ah. There we go. And whilst that's there, I'll just go in there and just blob it a bit with the cotton bud. Just dab the excess off. Now you can see that uh, that V sign or the inverted V on the door is already starting to um, bed down onto the uh, surface detail. Absolutely love it when that, when that happens. Uh, Mr. Golden V says, Mr. Colour GX White is the best gloss I've ever tried. It is is and we've we've got some here in the workshop which is uh, i agree with you gordon j asks is that gs gloss a lacquer based product it is gordon it is but that really isn't a problem if your stock in trade thinner is either mr color lacquer thinner or the tamiya lacquer thinner like this because the beauty of these is, is, are, are, is, that you can use them for lacquers, ofs, but you can also use them on things like Tamir acrylics and Gunzi acrylics. Essentially, you can use them on, on these and you can use them on these as well. Um, and obviously, you can use them on the lacquers. So I'm, a, I'm an absolute big fan of the uh, big fan of uh, Mr. Color Thinner. Um, obviously, it goes without saying that you have to be uh, quite circumspect when you're spraying it because it's fairly noxious stuff. So I always have the fans going on the um, on the on the oh God, get me get me teeth in a minute. I have the fans going on the spray booth. And I also wear a, uh, a mask as well. Now, here is one of those weird little itinerary um, kind of like oddities, is that you've got these decals here, which are decals uh, six and seven, um, uh, which they have, they have noted that they are decals six and seven B because they're on section B here. Um, why these aren't in just like a common area, I don't know. Um, it's there's always something with itinerary decals where there is some bizarre little quirk or something where oh, I don't know. Um, I do get the impression sometimes that the decal art and the instruction art is not handled necessarily by the same person which tends to be how other companies work. Anyway, let's get these decals on, shall we?
Dan is saying uh, that he used a Mr. Color GX100 for the first time on his current build. Decent stuff, but he found the Tamiya gloss easier to use. Probably just need more practice. Um, I would say yes. Probably, probably is, Dan. Just a little bit of practice. Um, but... Uh, This this stuff is because it's a lacquer. It just sprays slightly different to how something like X twenty two clear would. So it is just just practice makes perfect. Moz asks, are they cartograph? They certainly are. Moz, there we go. Screen printed screen printed by cartograph. Best decal manufacturers out there. Absolutely stellar they are. Okay, let's slap another sticker on, shall we? And this one goes just inside there, like so. What did you do on Friday night? Oh, I watched. Uh, I watched a precision scale modelling. Um, where the guy doing it used the phrase that slap another decal in there, slap another sticker in there. So, there we go, lift that one up. Now, again, this is, this is one of those oddities I don't know if you can see on the instructions. I'll try and zoom into the instructions. But the instructions show that this decal sits proud of the of the recess there. Whereas whoopsie daisy, as you can see, it sits it sits in there perfectly. I'm just going to assume it's meant to sit in there. So There we go. Oops, Daisy. I'll do. I'm going to get, get t shirts printed for Telford. It just says, that'll do. But do you know what? The Just the, the, the weather outside at the moment and just this darkness, and we're just coming up to seven o'clock, and I've just suddenly got. Just that little, little, little kind of thing of kind of like, yeah, hey, Telford. That Telford buzz is kicking in a bit. Excuse me. Um, right. I'm just having a look at the uh, the decals here. Uh, what can I add? Goodness me. Um, Yeah, we'll add we'll add decal number seven, I think. Um, decal seven's a decal seven's a girt big one. Um, like I say, for a vehicle, there are a lot of stickers to go on this. Quite incroyable, as the French would say. Um, Dan, and that's an interesting question from Dan. He says, what's the difference between screen printed decals and the ones uh, Airfix if they're both cartograph? I built a Hobby 2000 kit recently. The decals in there were cartograph, but they were really thin and gripped the surface instantly. They behaved almost academy-like and nothing like the Airfix ones. Um, I, think it, I think it comes down to the varnish that gets used. Um, I'll ask on Monday. I'll ask cartograph on Monday, but... Um, uh certainly the the decals in the airfix austin katie they're not cartograph they're actually printed by academy so um but like i say i think sometimes it can come down to the varnish that uh, that they um that they decide to use um uh shane says good a um a pop up mm -hmm. And Rob says, uh, "Yay, Telford!" I know. I'm in a. I'm genuinely in a yay Telford mood tonight. Um, 
a bit to do before then. Yes, <laughs> exactly. Um, and Gordon says, JM, will the models you take to Telford be on the Hobby Coast stand, a club stand, or the competition? I'm keen to. I'm keen to your work in the flesh. Mm. Um, no, it'll be, we'll be on the we'll be on the hobby coast now, so you can come along and uh, experience the um, the disappointment of my skill level in the flesh. So, um, right, let's let's slap some more stickers on this vehicle because we're I'm not going to bore you for too long with this, but um, let's let's look for decal number seven, shall we? uh decal seven there it is there um there it is there so and we've got three of them so let me just work out where they go uh just because there's three on the sheet doesn't necessarily necessarily mean itillary show you where the seven go and it's also slightly confusing that you've got seven a and seven b um Okay, we've got two. We've got two seven A's. I got somebody trying to ring me at the moment as well. So, um, uh, right, let's 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 get the seven A's out of the way. And we'll do. Um, Decal 19, alternative 13. Uh, let's have a look. Yeah, well, I think we'll go for decal 19. It's it's weird how they've 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 done three of every decal. Whether or not they're anticipating some people may be slightly kind of ham fisted, kind of like you know residents from Dudley who've got holes in their heads that um you know that they may need they may need some spares to assist them. Whoops a daisy dropping his um dropping his uh paintbrushes on the floor. Oh uh. Oh, hang about! Just got to just got to respond. Oops, got to respond to uh, a message here. Sorry, doing a live show. Whoops. Oh, what it is to have the what it is to have your fans ringing you up, eh? I wouldn't know. Um, okay, let's let's get these stickers on, and then um, and then I think that'll be it for tonight. I think I've eaten into your time. Your precious Friday evening enough here at the moment, and um, so decal seven is the big one. Decal seven doesn't look that's seven. Sorry, decal seven B, decal seven A. There we go. It's all right, nearly. Nearly criticised it to Larry for something there, and it was entirely my misreading of the instructions. I gotta say though, they're they're not the they're not the easiest to follow because they do the they do the same numbering sequence. I, I think you can see that there. You've got chapter A and chapter B. It's the same numbering sequence for both. So you've got to constantly look at the instructions to, to realise that some of these numbers aren't actually, they're not actually the ones at the top. Some of them are at the bottom. For example, these, you know, these markings here. So it's not, yeah, I think Italeri could, um, they could sharpen that up a bit. I think the only, um, I wouldn't even call it a disappointment, is uh, I think as you saw on the live show is that unfortunately Drew is sitting Telford out this year. 
which is a shame because I always enjoy the badinage of his uh, his company. Oh, I can see why Italeri gave you um, gave you three of these because I've just made a right horlix of this one. I might actually have to. Um, I actually have to go and get the spare in a second if I can't resolve this. That's a really awkward place to have to put a decal. So I've suddenly gone quiet because I'm trying to concentrate here. Oh, I think we rescued that. There we go. Oops. That is not the easiest decal to place with the sorry, not the easiest decal to place, not the easiest decal to actually show you on camera, but that is a real bind to actually get that one in there. But hey ho. Let's just have a quick look. Um Dan's the, interesting. Dan says spare stencil decals is the way forward. I've never completed a kit without at least one stencil disappearing or sticking on wonky. Yes, I know the feeling. Um, right, let's get these other ones on, shall we? No nonsense modelling tonight, folks. Um, and this is decal number nineteen, which no 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 nineteen, which goes in there. Sorry, went a bit Paul Harcastle there for a moment. That'll do. <laughs> We're going to create a meme. It's just going to be, it just says, that'll do. Uh, and we're looking for uh, the other. Oh, right. Sorry. Do... Brain freeze there for a second. The other decal 19 goes on the opposite side. There we go. I definitely need to get some varifocals or bifocals. There we go. Look, we got we got more stickers on this thing. Um, dum bum bum. Uh, Mob Rob says, "Flood it and see if it uncurls." That's pretty much what we uh, what we did, Rob. Um, we just we just bung some uh, micro set on it, and it seemed to do the trick. So. Uh, Right, I'm just having another look to see what other markings we can put on here for, for this section of the show, and then I'm going to call it a day. So, uh, decal 21. I'm trying to do these in sequence. Um, decal 21. Okay. We've, got, we've identified where two decal 21s go. And what else are we going to do? Decal 17 as well, uh, sling.
Uh, Gordon says, keep going. Um, <laughs> the, the only problem with that, Gordon, is that I've, I've got I've got other things that I need to get on with tonight, including uh, just doing a quick uh, round down of um, round down of work and everything today. So, um, uh, but I, I genuinely tonight, I've just as I said, I've suddenly got that little bit of a kind of like a Telford buzz tonight and just build but cramming models for Telford was always something that we we tended to do back it back in the old days and um right we're doing decal 21 which is the one that goes on the goes on that cap there and there as well and that one says no step a familiar, uh, familiar marking for me in the day job. Oops. We will try and do some more of these pop-up lives in the run-up to Scale Model World because, <laughs> for the simple reason that it's um, it's it it then forces me to actually sit down and um, and get on with some modelling. I do have a couple of a uh, couple of models that I've got to build for the show. Yeah, fine. And then we've got sling, which goes either side of, would you believe, the uh, the slinging eyes. Yep, I'm happy with that. Now, oops. I'm going to have to wrap this up in a second, folks. But if we go back to where we started this evening, um, these, you can see, they really started to, um, they really started to bed down into that, into that detail. Um so I'm just giving it a gentle uh, prod with the with the cotton bud. And I'm going to do the same. Actually, the one on the back, you can see that's absolutely wedded down there. It's absolutely melted onto the surface. Now, I'm just going to grab another brush bear with me a second clean another brush for the microsol i'm just going to put some microsol on And I'm going to have to I'm going to have to end it there in a second, folks, because I've got other things that I've got to get on with. <coughs> but we will be doing some more pop up lives, um, as I say. If anything, just as a 
as a motivation to actually get some modeling done before Telford. But there we go. We've got some of the uh, decals onto the Humvee. Uh, and it's starting to look the uh, starting to look the part. Um, what what was the paint that I used on that again? Bear with me, bear with me, bear with me. I'm going to be exclusively painting and weathering it with this set that I've had from AK for the last few years. So the camouflage color was their AK122. And I will be using the enamel wash and the streaking streaking effects as well. I'm, I'm just going to keep it to those three products. That's it. Well, obviously, I've had to do wheels and things. But I'm going to keep it to that um, so as not to, not to go down the rabbit hole of breaking open all my other goodies here. Otherwise, I'll never get the thing finished. So... Um, uh but um on that note it just remains to say thank you for watching do appreciate it um fingers crossed we'll be back on sunday for the sunday service um and hopefully i'll get the humvee finished for sunday so um until then as always stay safe stay out of trouble and we'll see you very, very soon. So bye for now.